Okay, okay, okay. Today, we'll be reviewing a movie called Green Book, which is a based off a real life story. So if you know what happened, if you, if you of course know history and blah blah blah, you know, you will know what happens in the movie. So basically, if you know the real life events before you watch the movie, you essentially already know what's going to happen in the movie. But yeah, this movie is about a world class African American pianist who embarks on a concert tour, starting in the Midwest, then he goes throughout the deep south in the movie in need of a driver and protection, and essentially... They he recruits some guy you no know, and or you know, tough talking bouncer from the Italian American neighborhood in the Bronx. Despite the differences, they essentially develop a bond while confronting, you know, racism during the civil during the time in the nineteen sixties when the civil rights movement was going on. And surprisingly this movie was first in Nigeria, but that's why I kind of find where it came out in Nigeria before it came out in America. Even though this movie took place in, takes place in America, of course. It came out in Nigeria first. But it's not talking about Nigeria because, really, who cares about Nigeria? They, they, they just have oil, okay? They just have scammers and oil, okay? So, yeah, this movie is actually very, very, very great. I I actually was skeptical because usually when, these movies, some, when movies win Best Picture, sometimes they're like, oh, they're not really that great, for, for example. I don't have to explain. There were some movies that went back to Pixar I don't even like at all. But yeah, this movie is actually pretty great. There are some pretty, you know, there are some good heartfelt moments and some good, you know, funny, you know, good, white hard, funny moments in the movie. Like with the KFC and, or, you know, and stuff. And I like how the, I liked how the guys interact throughout the movie. You know, the one guy, you know, they, he, he really, he, that other guy really changes throughout the movie. Well, we realized that, you know, well, he taught, well, he, I think he probably warned that violence is not the first option and stuff. And yeah, it's basically like another movie I watched as well called The Upside. Well, the one guy essentially, you know, they were basically like friends. They always out there for each other. So yeah, the movie has a good story. The good, has very great cinematography in the movie as well. The movie works, of course, works stunning, works stunning as well. And, of course, the, you know, he is very good at playing piano, so of course, he is piano, you know. And, yeah, I'm not going to spoil the whole movie for you, because that would ruin the point of watching the movie, of course, like I used to in the past, because, you know, because I wanted to make the video longer for stupid reasons. But, yeah, the movie has a good story. It has good, it has good messages in the movie. If you're looking for a movie for good messages, and the movie's... Oh, I thought the movie was made. Ow. Oh. And they really wanted to sell, and some people complained, oh, they didn't sell enough in the movie. They didn't sell enough of the problems in the movie, but that means the movie will have been put out if they want to put some of the bad things that they've done in the South, more of the really bad things in the movie. But they do so in the movie to certain, you know, in the movie. They don't sell a vote in some other movies, but yeah, this movie's a good movie. I would recommend watch it, and that's be and I give it a. 9 out of 10. It's actually higher than the IMDb score they have on here. And that's basically it. Goodbye.